Hey y'all, it's your girl TNT and I'm here with a new video. So today, as you can see, I'm going to be showing y'all my first time making a wig. So this hair you see right now, made this all myself and I'm gonna show y'all the steps I took to get it to look like this. So for sure, it's a beginner's video and I also wanna learn from you all so please feel free to leave comments and let me know how I did, but let's get right to it. All right, hey y'all, I'm going to be using this beautiful head to create this wig. I got her from Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description box. So I'll be making the wig with Eunice hair. Shout out to Eunice for sending me this lovely curly hair in an 18, 16, and 14 inch bundles with a 12 inch closure. So let's get into what you'll be needing to create your wig. First, you'll need a dome cap. You'll also need some T-pins, a pair of scissors, and needle and thread, of course. So I'm going to start with the closure first. So before we even put the closure on, of course, we're going to need to put that dome cap on. And as you can see, I'm just playing around with it and getting it to fit how I believe I would want it to fit on my head. So like measuring it up with the ears and the eyebrows. Don't pay too much attention to the face on the mannequin because it's going to end up getting covered. So let's start applying the closure. You want to make sure it's as tight as possible. You can't really tell from the angle that I'm filming at um, because, you know, as like I said, it was my first time doing this. So I was really taking my time making sure that um, closure was really tight. As you can see, I'm holding it in place with those T-pins that I mentioned you'll be needing earlier. So when I say you wanna make sure your closure is tight, I basically mean you wanna make sure that it is laying completely flat on your mannequin so that when you sew it on, um, it lays flat on your head when you put your wig on. So I'm currently sewing the closure on. As you can see, I'm going up and under through the cap and through the closure. You wanna make sure that you're really taking your time when you're doing this so that your closure can be laying flat so when you put your wig on, it does look as natural as possible. So an important detail is when you get to the elastic part of the cap, you want to make sure that you're only sewing on top of the dome cap and not through the elastic band because if you do that, your cap won't stretch. So I just finished sewing the closure on, so now I'm about to start applying the bundles to the back of the head. So I'm going to be starting with this 18 inch hair, which is the longest bundle that I have. So I'm gonna start sewing above the elastic band. Um, I noticed when I first started that I was having trouble holding the hair on tight because it was weighing down so much. So I started wrapping it around the head so um, it would be easier to sew. But y'all, just use T-pins. So boom, as you can see, I just used the T-pin and I realized that's easiest to help you sew um, where you want to be sewing and stay, like make sure you're sewing neat and staying in a straight line. So I didn't want to cut my bundles, so I just did like the flip over method. So you could just do that simply by flipping the hair over and just continue to sew.
after I finished sewing on about two to three rows of the back, I started um, sewing all the way down to where the edge of the cap where my ears are. So as you can see when I turned the mannequin head, um, I sewed, once again, don't sew at the edge of the cap. Do not sew over the elastic band. You wanna just make sure you sew on top of it. Don't go through the elastic band. I finished sewing on all of the 18 inch, so I'm about to start with the 16 inch bundle. So I'm just continuing the steps I made earlier, starting at the edge of the cap and doing the flip over method. And once I get to the top of the cap, um, I'm going to start cutting it, but you'll see when I get there. So as you can see, I have most of the hair on. So now um, in order to save hair, I'm gonna start measuring the tracks and cutting them to fit exactly how much I need in order to cover all of the cap. All right, y'all, so I finished sewing on all of the hair and I washed it and conditioned it. So now I'm getting ready to cut out, cut out the dome cap um, right under the lace because you don't need that. You just want it to be the lace there. So be careful not to cut the stitching and um, yeah. So I think she looks pretty good so far. None of the tracks are showing, it looks really cute. Um, really natural. So now I'm gonna get ready to fix the um, front part of the closure and play with the hairline to make it look more natural. So for this you'll need a pair of shears, some tweezers, and a rat tail comb. So basically what I'm doing is finding how I want the hairline to be parted and um, plucking the hairline to look more natural because at the front of your hair, you don't have like that much hair. So you kind of just pluck it um, back in different random spots to make it look natural. Um, I wasn't sure if I was doing this right, but it ended up looking good, so yeah.
So I did try to cut some baby hairs, but um, I honestly didn't even end up, you know, laying the baby hairs down when I wear the wig. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As you can see, it did turn out good, at least in my opinion, y'all. Um, I did bleach the knots so it blends a little bit better with my scalp. Um, I did not do that on camera because it was my first time. I, I was struggling with that so I just, I didn't show you all that. But next time, I will. Um, but yeah, so far I've been wearing this hair for about a week and I really, really love it. So shout out to Eunice because this is some amazing hair. I usually... Curly hair is tough sometimes because it can get either get too tangled or just look really frizzy. But this hair, I have not had a problem with at all. Like the curls, as you can see, look popping. It's not too frizzy. It's very bouncy. It doesn't really get that tangled. So, yeah. Please let me know what y'all want to see. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. TNT signing off. As you can see. I'm going to be showing you y'all I'm gonna be showing you all how I made my first wig. So you see this hair that I'm rocking right now? I did it all myself. Shout out to Eunice for